welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is the difference between qa and cqa department in the pharmaceutical industry here are the some points of difference between qa and cqa the major difference is qa that is quality assurance conducts day to day quality control activities at manufacturing sites whereas corporate quality assurance that is cqa provides strategic guidance and oversight for quality management across the organization what are the key responsibilities of the corporate quality assurance that is cqa department in pharmaceutical industry here are the three important responsibilities of cqa department first to develop and enforce good manufacturing practices that is gmp standards across all processes and facilities second to conduct thorough quality control checks and third continuously monitor and improve manufacturing processes how does the corporate quality assurance department ensure fda compliance here are the three ways to do this first by establishing and maintaining standard operating procedures that is sops aligned with fda regulations secondly by conducting regular audits and inspections to ensure adherence to fda guidelines third way is by implementing training programs for employees to educate them how does the cqa department maintain a strong quality management system or qms cqa establish and document robust procedures and policies for quality management cqa also implement effective document control and change management process to maintain strong quality management system cqa conduct regular internal audits and management reviews to assess and improve the effectiveness of the qms how is data integrity maintained in processes data integrity is maintained by data integrity controls like ensuring accuracy completeness and reliability of data by proper documentation that is by maintaining accurate records following standardized procedures it can be also maintained by audit trails that is by capturing chronological data transaction records by preventing unauthorized access that is by restricting access to sensitive data and finally by regular monitoring that is conducting routine assessments of data management processes how are deviations and kappa plans managed within manufacturing processes deviations are documented investigated to determine root cause and categorize based on the severity whereas corrective and preventive actions that is kappa plans are developed to address identified issues kappa plans are implemented monitored for effectiveness and closed once objectives are met with documentation of actions taken throughout the process what role does corporate quality assurance play in supplier audits and raw material quality corporate quality assurance that is cqa oversees supplier audits to ensure adherence to standards and regulations and verifies the quality of raw materials through testing and inspection minimizing risk to product quality and safety how does corporate quality assurance validate equipment facilities and processes corporate quality assurance that is cqa validates equipment facilities and processes through rigorous testing and documentation to ensure compliance with predefined acceptance criteria and regulatory requirements can you explain the risk management process in quality assurance here are the four steps to perform risk management step 1 identify potential risk to product quality safety or regulatory compliance in step 2 assess the severity and likelihood of each identified risk step 3 develop strategies to mitigate or control risk prioritize actions based on severity and likelihood in final step that is step 4 implement risk mitigation measures monitor effectiveness and adjust strategies as needed to ensure continuous improvement how are analytical methods and testing procedures ensured for accuracy by cqa analytical methods and testing procedures are ensured for accuracy by method validation equipment calibration and quality control and sop adherence what measures are taken to continuously improve quality system and processes by cqa cqa does it by metrics tracking that is by monitoring performance indicators management reviews that is by assessing quality system effectiveness periodically regular audits customer feedback analysis and optimization initiatives that is by implementing measures for process improvement how does corporate quality assurance collaborate with r&d regulatory affairs and manufacturing corporate quality assurance do it by cross functional teams 
quality oversight information sharing process alignment and promoting collaboration what are the some challenges faced by the corporate quality assurance that is cqa department in the pharmaceutical industry here are the some important challenges faced by the cqa department first the need to keep up with changing regulatory requirements the need to ensure the quality of products that are manufactured and distributed globally the need to manage the risk associated with new technologies and the need to maintain a high level of quality while reducing cost what are the different types of audits performed by the corporate quality assurance department here is the list of different types of audits performed by the cqa department it includes compliance audits critical phase audits in process study audits data audits report audits advertising audits and management audits last and very important question which guidelines are important for cqa in pharmaceutical industry here is the list of guidelines that are important for cqa department it includes gmp guidelines ics guidelines quality risk management that is qrm principles pharmacopeial standards like usp ep jp and regulatory guidelines from health authorities like fda ema don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry